Okay, so all my yarns are tidy and organised, no longer tangled. So, I have, if you remember me saying at the start, I have a circle around my number 15, for row 15. And we're going to be going downwards for that. So, for row 15, this is where we're going to be introducing some more bobbins. So... I have down here my note to myself down here that row 15 I'm going to need three white and two brown so I already have two white so I'm going to bring in my third white and my second brown or beige okay so bring those in ready and what we're going to do is, because we are going to um, be doing some beige here and then some more white, these are the two we will need to be joining in because this beige doesn't start until down here, so we need it up here. So if I show you, we have beige here, but we need it all the way up here now you could carry it and um, I might show you that at some point but it's far neater and easier to bring in your second bobbin for this part up here okay so what we're going to do is I've shown you how to join yarn in before but I will show you again so let's this is the one block of white we did so what i'm going to do is bring this up ready to join get this bobbin this end of beige and start that off so pop that there so again i'm going to pop the tail out the back of the work so i'm just checking where my stitch marker is this is the front going to have the tail going down the back and I'm going to where's this white so this is the white that I'm using so this white needs to be over this side okay so I'm going to have them in order so the white's that side and then there's the beige okay make sure they're in order and I'm going to bring this through the white and then do this slip stitch okay make sure there's a tail of the new color to sew in pull that white down tight and then i'm ready to begin okay so now i've got my graph covered <laughs> okay so it can get a lot of lot of things going on when you're doing um, a graph but it, it's totally worth it so we're going to do two blocks in our new page so I'm going to leave you to do two blocks of beige and then I'll see you back to join in your new bobbin. Okay, when you've done those two blocks of your beige or whatever colour you're using, it's time to bring in a third white bobbin for these three in the middle here. So we've got this middle section here that we could have carried this white through these two, um, but it's easier to bring in a new bobbin much cleaner and neater so here's my new bobbin so I've got laid out the white then the beige with white beige and then I'm going to have the white so I'm going to keep them in order to help keep them a little neater doesn't always work but we can try <laughs> so I'm going to bring this one in in exactly the same way remember you could finish through those last two loops if you prefer um, but you know that I prefer to do it this way. So I'm going to bring that through that loop, do my slip stitch, pull down nice and tightly on both of those. And I'm going to hold that tail while I do my first chain three. And then we're going to do three blocks in this white. So three blocks in the white and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so after those three blocks of white, you're going to drop your yarn down to the back and pick up your previous beige that you've got hanging there already. 
Okay, this one here hanging here already. And then I'm going to bring that through. And I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next block. And then pull that white in nice and tight. And we're going to do six blocks in the beige. Okay, after those six blocks of beige, you're going to do three blocks of white. So drop that beige at the back, bring this white over, and then do your slip stitch into the next block. Pull the beige down tight, and then work over this strand of white. So three blocks of white on this row, and then one block to start the next row. Okay, so when you've done the one to start the next row, you're going to um, turn your work around and drop that white to the back. And then you're going to bring this beige back up. And this is where I'm going to show you how you can carry your yarn. Okay, so you could bring in a new piece of beige if you wish but we're only carrying it to well three blocks okay so it's not really very far so it's a bit pointless bringing in a new piece of yarn um every time you bring in new yarn you'll have a, a beginning tail and an end tail so you're going to be using a lot more yarn that way so what i'm going to do is bring this yarn down and across to my loop okay now i'm going to shorten it a bit more than i think i need join my square into this next my block into the previous block with that slip stitch as usual pull that white down tight and then this looks like it's not going to reach but believe me it will just it just needs to sort of be a little bit tight okay not too tight but just a little bit okay and then you're just going to work as usual to do your chain three make sure that when you're doing your stitches you're um incorporating this or enclosing this piece of yarn inside or in enveloping it enveloping it um whatever that word is <laughs> Um, okay, so now we've got this bit, so what we're going to do is just bring that to the top, do your next slip stitch, making sure that this yarn is going to go around, okay, do your next chain three, and then again work over that piece of yarn. And it's that simple. And technically you could carry the piece of yarn a long way, but... The longer the piece of yarn, the more chance of it not being the right length of either you pulling it too tight or having it too loose. Um, so you don't want to carry it too far. And also, um, uh, depending on the colours you're using, it could show through as well. So just continue in the same way as always. Just making sure you're working over that yarn. And you can see now I've got just the perfect size piece left. So just pull it a little shorter than you think it needs to be and then it will work fine. You, if you feel there, you can feel it going diagonally through there, but it's all hidden nicely. Okay, so I've done three there and all together we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of that beige. So all together you need nine beige. Okay, when you've done those nine, you just make sure you've got nine, double check first before you move on. We're going to do two white, so drop this yarn down. This is the back, so make sure you're dropping it um, down to the back. And then bring over this white and join. And do your two white. Okay, then drop that white down and bring over your beige and you're going to do three squares of beige so bring this over join slip stitch and 
and then pull that white down tight once you've done your slip stitch. Pull that white tight and continue to do three squares of beige. And after three beige, you're going to drop that beige down and pick up your white. And you're going to do one square of white. So bring that white over and do your slip stitch. Pull that beige down tight. I've got a strand of beige caught there. So if that happens, just undo and start again. So let's try that again. Bring your white over, do your slip stitch, and pull that beige down tight. So do one square, uh, one block of white, and then do one block of white to start the next row. Okay, when you've done those two whites, one at the end of the row and one at the start of the row, we are going to flip up the work and we're going to slip stitch in. But we're going to change colour, so I'm going to bring the beige over first and I'm going to bring that through the white and then into the next block and slip stitch. Okay, hopefully that makes sense to you. If you find that confusing, then just slip stitch with the white and then bring the new colour through and that will work just, just as well. Okay, so now you want to do four blocks of beige. Okay, after your four blocks of beige, you are going to make sure you've finished your last stitch correctly. <laughs> um, okay, then you're going to drop that down and bring your white up. And you're going to do one block of white. Okay, one block of white, and then you're going to do ten beige. So you're going to do one block of white with this one here and then you're going to pick up this beige here and do 10 blocks with that. I'm not going to show you that colour change because it's so simple and soon. So change to white for one block and then change to your next beige for 10 blocks. Okay when you've done all 10, double check again that you've done 10, you want to change so drop that yarn down, bring in your white and do one block to finish this row and then you're going to do one block to start the next row which we've done that quite a bit actually so finish this row with one block of white and start the next row with one block of white and i'll see you soon okay so when you've done these two whites as we've done many times before we're going to bring in the beige for 10 blocks so I showed you one way before of bringing it over here when it's all a bit floppy. The other way is to join this block first. So join that with the slip stitch first, drop that yarn down and then bring this beige over and through that loop. Okay, And then just pull that white down really extra tight there and then start your block from there. So you're going to do another 10 blocks of beige. Okay, 10 beige and then I'll see you again. Okay, so 10 beige just done there. So drop that beige down, pick up your white and bring it over and through the loop or through the two loops of the double crochet as you prefer. By now, I'm hoping that you've found your way that you find most um, comfortable and best for you. Um, and you're sort of getting into the swing of it now. If this is the first time you've ever done it, then I hope you're starting to feel a bit more comfortable with it now. So we're just doing two blocks of white. Let's just finish this block. And then we'll be changing back to the next bobbin of beige. Okay, so drop that white down and it's time for our next bobbin of beige. And we're going to do four stitches of beige. So drop that white, bring the beige over and you're going to do four blocks of this. And then once you've done four of this, you're going to have 
one block of white so I'm going to leave you to do that uh, colour change of white on your own I think you've done enough colour changes now so four beige and then one white and there we go so far so we've made it to row 18 you've done 18 rows already so give yourself a pat on the back if you've never done this before and you've now done your 18th row well done so I'm just going to flip this over and show you what we have so far just ignore these threads this is what we have so far if I can fit it all on the screen not really but there we go okay so that's what we have so far well done if you've got that far and um, what we're going to do next is row 19 and we're going to start with two blocks of white and then four beige okay so I'm going to let you do those color changes on your own um, two white and four beige okay so two white and four beige and then you're going to do one white and then 11 beige okay so bring this white over and do that just one white and then 11 beige okay so i'm going to leave you to do that and i'll see you 11 beige squares later okay so when you've done all 11 and i know i keep saying this but make sure you've counted that it is 11 you've done um, and then you're going to drop that down bring this white back up and you're going to do one square of white and two squares of white to start the next row so you finish this row with one and start the next row with two now there is a piece of yarn going up here because I didn't drop my yarn to the back so that's why I would say always drop your yarn to the back of your work. This is the front because I've got my stitch marker. This little piece won't show too much, but it is best if it's on the back. So try and keep your yarn to the back when you drop it down, okay? Just to avoid that. So that was a, an, a purposeful accident there to show you what not to do. <laughs> okay, so do one block on this row and two to start the next. Okay, when you have those first two white of the next row, you are going to do 10 beige. So drop your white and bring in your beige. And then you're going to do 10 blocks of beige. Okay, so I will see you 10 blocks later. Okay, so we've done 10 beige and now we're going to do two white and then four beige. So just make sure you are counting your squares as always, carrying your yarn across and uh, working over any carried yarn. And that's about it really. I'm sure you're getting um, very used to these colour changes now and um, know what you're doing so I know I said I was going to take you through every colour change but I'm actually wondering if you need every colour change by now so I'm just going to work up these two and then I'll show you your beige change and then I'll leave you to continue so two white Drop the white, bring the beige over, pull that white down nice and tightly, and do your slip stitch in the beige. There you go. So four beige, and then you're going to finish with two white. Okay, finish with two white, and then you're going to do three white to start the next row. So four beige, two white, and three. So, four beige, two white, three white. Okay, if you remembered what I said, it was three white to start this row. So three white there, and then we're going to do three beige and two white. So change over to your beige and do three beige and then two white. 
there we go and then we're going to do 11 beige so change over to your beige and do 11 blocks you're doing well doing well i know this is a long um project if you've not done this before you're probably thinking this is taking ages but it will be worth it so 11 beige blocks and I'll see you after 11. Okay, so now you want to, after doing those 11, you want to finish this row with two white and start the next row with three white, okay? So change to your white here for two blocks and then three blocks into the next row. Okay, after those 10, we are going to do... Um, three white and two beige so three white and two beige and again i will see you in just a moment when i've done these blocks so um three white two beige okay so when you've done this two beige um, we're going to just do some white to finish off, but I've just brought you, um, zoomed in to show you the graph. Um, we've made it up to, um, we're nearly finished row 22, so we're nearly halfway. We've got three more rows, and then we've done the biggest row. And then after that, we'll be decreasing, and the rows will be getting shorter and shorter, so quicker and quicker. So just want to show you here on the graph, if you can see, we've just done these two beige here. So that is the end of this section of beige. So what I'm going to do on this beige here, I've done my two beige there. I'm going to cut this bobbin. I'm going to leave a nice long tail for sewing in. Snip that off and that's this bobbin finished for now. We will use it again when we come to doing these, but for now, we're finished with this bobbin. So I'm just gonna, as I've got the peg, I'm just gonna secure that in there. And then I'm just gonna pop this to the side for now, okay? So awesome that we've finished with that bobbin right now. So let's get finishing this row. So we've got four white to go on this row, okay? Four white to go. Um, and then I'll join you back to talk about the next row after that, okay? So four white to finish row 22. And then just have a count, make sure that all your diagonals, um, sorry, let me zoom out now. So make sure that your diagonal counts to 22, make sure that this side counts to 22 and this side here counts to 22, okay? And then we'll be right. So um, four white blocks to finish this row. Okay, there we go. I've finished those four white blocks on that row 22 and I've counted all my um, sides. I've counted the diagonal, um, the bottom and the left hand side and all of them are 22 blocks. So if I turn this over to the right side, pop my stitch marker down on the right hand corner and show you what we have here. So... So far, we have most of this big centre pad. Just got a little bit here to do. And we've got this first little toe print, I guess you'd call it. So we've got these three toe prints left to do and this little side of the big pad to do. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Excuse all these messy yarns everywhere and zoom in again so you can see... And if you can see here, I have a circle around my number 23, row 23. And so I have a note down the bottom that says row 23 is two white bobbins and one beige. Well, we know we've got rid of that beige from the previous row. Um, we chopped that off, the one that we was using here. So we've left that tail. And then um, we need to get rid of a white. So where's that white going to go from? So if we look here now, where are we? There we go. So for row 23, we're going to be coming down here. Where are we? I can't even go in a straight line now. So we're going to be coming down here, 
that's one section of white and then if you see we've got the pour for a section of beige and then we've got this second section of white here so we need to take out this middle section of white we don't need that one anymore so find your just can move that out of the way for a moment so what we want to do is have a look and find your center white bobbin so let me zoom out again gosh in and out today with the zooming so i've got one white down here which i need i've got one white here and the other white is here at the top okay so i've got the top the bottom and then i've got this one in the middle so it's this one in the middle that i need to get rid of so again leave a nice tail for sewing in air on the side of caution and um, leave it longer than you think you'll need so again i'm just going to pop this bobbin to the side and there we go okay now this has finished on the front of my work this is the front actually so i'm just going to grab my hook and pull that through to the back there we go okay and again this beige one has sort of finished a little to the front so i'm just going to pull that one through as well there we go so We've got our two whites and our beige in the center. So we're ready to start on row 23. Okay, so for row 23, uh, yes, row 23. <laughs> oh dear, we're gonna start with nine whites. We're gonna do this long section of white here, okay? So start your row with nine white blocks. And then we're going to go into doing 11 of the beige so nine white and then 11 beige and i'll see you 20 blocks later nine and 11 20. see you soon okay so nine white 11 beige and then we're going to swap over to our white and we are going to do three white on this row to finish and then we're going to start the next row with four whites. So three on this side and then um, four to start the next row. Okay, so after those three and then four, we are going to change back to beige. And we're going to do ten blocks. Ten blocks of beige. Change over. Pull it down tight, slip stitch, 10 blocks, do you see? okay when you've done those 10 down and 10 back it's time to change to beige and we are going to do 10 beige lots of 10s going on so 10 beige okie doke so 10 beige and then let me just see one two three four five 10 beige and then five white and then it's time start decreasing our rows this is the last biggest row so 10 beige five white and then just have a count and make sure that it all adds up to 25. okay this is where we're at at the end of row 25. you've made it halfway through well done especially if this is your first time of doing corner to corner or your first time of doing a corner to corner graph well done for making it this far you've got halfway and um, the rest as i said we start decreasing so the rows get shorter and uh, it's all good so this is what we have so far now i'm going to try and hold the camera up further it's going to be a bit shaky because i'm actually going to be holding it 
um, above uh, the tripod off the floor. So, um, but just to try and show you what we have, there we go. I can get it all in screen. There we go. Told you it's going to be a bit shaky, but there is the whole thing, pretty much. Looking good, huh? And yours should be looking something like that too. So let me pop the camera back down. And I'll be back. There we go. Try and make it stable. Let me move it back in. Okay. There we go. Oops. <laughs> I don't think I had it on all three feet of the tripod. There we go. Okay. So this is what we have so far. So you should have finished with five whites. Now, 